What's good, AOG? It's your boy Drew here, uh, showcasing another Edison deck. I know we had uh, our boy Noel had one on here, Veyu Turbo deck. This is more aggro. This deck's gonna be a little bit more control. It's Gladiator Beast. Uh, I went undefeated at this Edison flight at the regional recently. It was just three rounds, a single elimination, but I 2 0 everybody. I didn't drop a game. Uh, I think it was two Frog Monarchs and a Light Sworn, so good matchups. But uh, yeah, let's get into the deck profile. I'll try to explain it along the way if you don't know. We have two Lucoris. Uh He's just your beat stick. Two Darius, two Esquid, one Bestie, one Red T, and one Romillo. So basically all the Gladiator Beasts, they have an effect. If they attack, they get to run into the deck for another one, and they get an effect on summon. He blows up a face-up monster, he banishes a card, he blows up a spell or trap. This will add a Glad Beast card back from the graveyard. This will special summon a Glad Beast from the graveyard, which is your main combo with the Prisma Tiger. Uh, and this just gains 300 attack, so he gets to 21, which is pretty big. Bestie's li limited to one? Yeah, Bestie's at one, otherwise we would play three. Uh, the other cards are the Tigers. He lets you tag out into their effects without having to battle. And then this, uh, you can just send the Fusion to send a Bestie to get a Darius to make the Gazarus to blow two cards. Uh, it's the main combo. And honestly... It's kind of the strongest combo in the format. Like, it's just two cards, and it just, uh, it blows up two cards, and then you just get advantage, and it's just, when you, when you start resolving it and looping it, it just really feels, like, unfair. Like, your deck just feels like the best deck. And then one straight O's just to get that, uh, consistency plus, because we always like a straight O's plus, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, he's limited to one, right? Yeah, he's limited to one. And he lets you, like, sometimes this format, there's a lot of Ryko, so if you draw him going first, or, like, Rota... Like, you can summon him, get Prisma, and then, like, maybe trade with a Raikou, which is better than, like, running one of your Glad Beast into it. You can just save that for, like, when maybe they don't have a Raikou, or you get to set a War Chariot or something. Like, that's it for the Monsters, 15. It's a 40-card deck, 37, because we play three upstarts for the Consistency card. It's one Proving Ground and one Rota. Uh, you could play a second Proving Ground, but I just like the more defensive cards I have in here. Um, I'm kind of playing the Rota over the second Proving Ground too, just to get the Stratos plus, because like I said, Stratos is just really good, uh, especially in this format. It's just a free plus on summon, 18 body. That's just really good in Edison. Uh, so these are the consistency cards, 37 cards. Uh, then we got the defensive spells, three book and three shrink. Not shrink. Yeah, this is just so you can beat over stuff. Uh, because all your glad beasts are kind of big, but they're not big. They're all like between like 17 and like 12, you know what I mean? So usually shrinking out anything that's like 24 or like more, like easily, pretty easily. Like, it also lets you dodge bottomless. All these six cards let you dodge bottomless because if your bestie gets bottomless, your whole game plan goes out the window. So these six cards also can, they, they have like dual function, they're like defensive and like to out like bottom line, like, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then we just play Trunade and Storm. I'm not playing Cold Wave or MST because we have Bestiari and Gazarus to blow up spells and traps. These ones just out the whole spell and trap zone. So I can, like if I, if I have a, like a spell trap negation, I want to make sure, like, I just clear all the spells and traps. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. and, and you don't want a cold wave because it can, like, you need to be able to set your trap cards. You know what I mean? It is a trap deck still. Like. And then for the trap cards, we have the battle traps, which is 3D prison, mirror force. The nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, a two bottomless and a torrential. Uh, yeah, both these are limited to one. Yeah. Uh, Any compulse? Uh, no, no compulse. Because then we just have the negation traps after that. We have two chariots and a judgment and a starlight road. Uh, chariot, if you control face up gladiator beast monster, on your opponent activates a card effect, you can negate the effect and destroy the card. So it's pretty powerful. You know what I mean? And you can recycle it with the esquit. So it's like, it's like you can just, once you use it, you just tag out to this, get this back, and it's just like a loop. It's pretty, it's pretty busted. Uh, and then these are just, everything else is just standard defensive traps. This is because we play a bunch of trap cards. And then the 40th card is Call the Haunted because it's pretty good. Because with the Fusion Monster, Gazarus, you can, uh, if it dies, like after you fuse for it, like, and you just leave it on field or something, this one, if it dies, uh, you can just call by it back and it gets an effect to destroy two cards. That's kind of busted. Yeah, so, so, like, it's, it, yeah. And then just in general, you can, this combos well with, like, Prisma, because you can be, like, Prisma, dump the bestie, 
and if you have this set, you don't. It's like it's like you know that's your that's your test tiger right there. Boom into this, like blow up two cards, and get to attack, and then tag out for two more, like, and then just so like start gaining advantage because you're setting cards, and then you're blowing up cards, and you're attacking every turn, and, and you know what I mean. It's just it's just a lot of pressure. That's what this deck does. It's like a control, like pressure deck. But the extra deck is simple. Uh, we have three Gazaris. This is your main guy. This is what you summon. This is, I want to say, nothing else matters. It's the only card that really matters. I mean, we have one of these. You could play two, but I hardly ever make them. It's like a win more card. Uh, you just. He's big. Infinite times. You can discard infinite times to uh, negate a spell or trap that your opponent activates. But it's like a win more card. Like. Rarely do you have that many cards, and you're like, damn, it's just, it's just three or two or three glad beasts on the field is just better than just making this guy, because he can't even tag out. This guy can tag out. This guy doesn't. And we got two Fortress for the Cyber Dragon, and two Stardust for the uh, Starlight Roads. This is all that's mandatory. The rest of these Synchros we just play, because we play Brain and Mind in the side. So we might have in Thought Ruler, Rose, Ancient Fairy, Goyo, Bryanek, Armed Wing, and... Chaster. Just in case you steal something. Yeah, they don't really matter, but maybe sometimes. Side deck, uh, two Cyber Dragons, two Thunder Kings, two DD Crows, a Gale, uh, two D Fishers, my body, brain, mind, two Trap Stuns, and the second Starlight Road. Uh, everything's pretty standard here, but sometimes if like game two, you keep your Prisma stuff in and you know they're like side decking DD Crows and stuff to try to beat the like best yard you kind of take that out and then put in like a more stun approach with like Thunder King and D Fisher and like Cyber Dragon and Gale like and you're like more like stun you know what I mean yeah like then like but uh yeah because you really basically turn into a trap deck and you take out yeah the, you just turn into it you put the second Starlight Road in you take out the Prisma the Stratos the Rota you know what I mean and the Test Tigers and then you just put this stuff in and then you know now you're just like a anti meta deck you like put the deep fissure in yeah exactly like you, you don't need to be playing uh glad beast when your opponent can't play well you still get to play glad beast that's what's busted oh under under fissure yeah it doesn't stop it doesn't i mean it, it can't hurt but i don't know you, you can't just, you usually, can't you can't do the the beast you already play yeah, usually yes you can from the grave oh not from the grave no no but no. but you can do it from the field you still oh, yeah. play proving ground and and you know what i'm saying yeah. you can tag into them so but that's the deck. It, it did really well. Um, Drew used to play this deck back whenever Edison yeah, format was my, actually my, a legitimate format. This is my favorite deck of all time. But, uh, that's it. Subscribe to the channel. Like, we got really cool mats. Uh, this is the mat I won. This Light and Darkness Dragon mat. Yeah, this dope. is one of the customs we did. Yeah, so if you want a custom, you can always email us. Check out the Shopify link in the description. And leave a comment for Drew. And if you guys want to see us... It actual real deck Drew can showcase his super heavy whenever he decides he wants to make yeah, a profile. Yeah, out. This is a real deck, man. Glad Beast. <laughs> yu gi -Oh! still alive in 2010, man. Don't let it die. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Deuces. Yeah.